Hey guys, welcome back to the Duck Hill Workshop. My name is Ben, and today is Tool Talk Tuesday. So, one, just like in all the coronavirus weirdness, I'm taking Tool Tuesday, I'm turning it into Tool Talk Tuesday, um, and I'm just gonna go through literally every tool that I own. Tell you why I bought it, what I like about it, what I don't like about it, and if I'd buy it again. <clears throat> so we are starting with all of my impact wrench drivers to varying degrees here. Um, I don't have statistics, so I can't tell you like how many foot pounds of torque they produce or which one's statistically better. I can't give you that, I'm sorry. <clears throat> I can tell you why I use them, what I like about them and what I don't like about them. And again, if I'd buy them again. So starting out, the big DeWalt 20 volt max impact. Uh, this is the half inch. I have a reducer down to a, a 3 8. If I can get the damn thing off. Low speed, medium speed. Um, I bought this a long time ago when I was in Platteville and working in a remote shop. Um, I wanted to have a cordless impact instead of needing an air uh, an air impact because we had an unreliable uh, air compressor. Um, so, so far I've liked it. Um, it's really nice. It's actually what I use it most for now, not necessarily working on cars, is driving um, big timber screws with a either a Torx or a, a hex bolt on top. Um, it's really awesome, but you've got to be careful in the high speed setting that you don't snap the heads off your uh, timber screws because I've done that a couple times in logs when I'm setting up the mill and that's a little bit of a pain in the butt. <clears throat> uh, it also has on here the big uh, 60 volt um, 12 amp hour battery. My brother got me this for my birthday, so um, thank you, Matt. Uh, it's friggin' awesome. Um, and it lasts forever. Uh, next up is the 3 8 impact. <clears throat> so this little thing does not have speed adjustment, um, <clears throat> but it does have a, a 3 8 anvil. Um, I use that with a multi-adapter. This is predominantly what I use to adjust the mill. Uh, the chainsaw mills, the Granbergs. Um, really nice for for undoing the, the bolts on the torque or on the, the height scale. <clears throat> so that's usually what's in my bag there. Um, this is probably the only time that I use the my little tiny um, like the two amp hour batteries um, is on this because it doesn't see very much use. Uh, next up, <clears throat> I got is my first impact. Um, actually, it's not true. Um, this one is my first impact driver, but this was my first DeWalt one. I got the kit with the drill driver combo. Um, this was my favorite for a lot of reasons for a long time. Um, and in fact, if this is the one, like if I'm <clears throat> going out to the gardens to help out and I know that we're going to be building something that's going to require a lot of driving in and in and in and in I'll bring mine out um, with at least one but probably two of the five amp hour batteries and I know I'm going to work all day and I might not even need to change my battery um, I really love running it with the Milwaukee uh, interchangeable impact bits and here's the thing that I love most about this and most modern impacts but like that one doesn't have it um, is being able to being able to put the, the, the bit in without releasing the collar um, and then having the collar be easy enough to let go to do it with one hand. So <clears throat> I really like that. For the most part it feels good in my hand and I like the light. I like the way it frames around the, um, the bit and not shine not a shining up from below like the impacts, some of the older ones. Um, I have talked to a couple of other people and they have 
felt like with DeWalt and the way that they're, the physiology of their arm and wrist, that they don't feel like they're behind the screw um, with the DeWalt's. I don't, I've never had that issue, um, but yeah, I like it. Would I buy it again? Yep, absolutely. This was the first one I ever bought. <clears throat> uh, and I bought it because I had, I had ordered this set, uh, and then Home Depot had a Father's Day sale, uh, and this driver, uh, popped up for like 40 bucks on sale, so it was too good to pass up. Um, that's pretty good. It is my only M18 Milwaukee tool. Um, I think I've had it six years now. And it doesn't, so you have to release the collar to put the bit in. <clears throat> um, it's pretty powerful, it's strong, um, it doesn't get as much use. This has been, like, because I used to have an apartment, my wife and I had an apartment, and so I kept some tools at the apartment and some tools here, this was my one at the apartment. <clears throat> Um, and it just hasn't seen a lot of use over the last six years. Uh, so it still feels pretty torquey and new. And then that leads us, oh, the question, would I buy it again? On sale? Sure. Why not? Um, I don't have anything against Milwaukee tools. They make great tools. Um, but I've always bought DeWalt, and I'm kind of OCD and like all my tools to match. Uh, plus, because of um, Megan's mom, we get good prices on, on DeWalt tools. So, as long as we have that <clears throat> deal going, thanks, Connie, um, we'll probably still keep buying DeWalt tools. But, <clears throat> here's the fun one. If you've been following along for the channel for very long, you know that Milwaukee sent us... Um, the, their little M12 drill driver combo with the two batteries. So we've got the XC2.0 uh, XC and a 4.0 battery, which is pretty sweet. Um, they did that not because I'm sponsored by them, and I, I don't even think that they knew that I did a YouTube channel um, until after the fact. Um, but when my wife and I got married, we had a tornado and lost power. And my brother, like, saved our ceremony by having his, he, one, he is dyed in the wool red uh, Milwaukee all day, every day. Same thing. Likes to have all, your, all his tools be the same color. So and he just chose red. <clears throat> uh, but he had their rocket light, job site light and set that up at our ceremony site. So we didn't get to married totally in the dark. We had that, <clears throat> uh, and that's how I got this set. Um, and I do really like it. What I've found, it's it's lightweight. Um, I like the grip. Um, it's got a nice taper in the back for the thumb. Controls are right there. Uh, I do like the, um, you can select between drill and then three torque options. I almost always run it on three or on drill. <clears throat> um, it has, you know, you can plug the bit in without uh, making adjustments. Um, I really like having the, the belt clip up here. So you can hook it pretty much anywhere and be okay with where it is. Um, you know, these, uh, I don't like carrying my tools upside down like that. Not because it has anything to do with the tool, but because it... Um, I just don't, I don't like it. Like you know, you're walking around, you got your tool clipped on your belt and you just keep banging into it or even down here. Like it keeps banging you in the knee. Um, I like having it back here and just hangs a little more. doesn't interfere with walking or anything, but I like that. And this is kind of my go to if I'm doing small work. Um, even though I don't think there's any lack of power. Um, I'm actually curious to look up the specs between like these three and see what the, the torque differences are. <clears throat> um, I've been really impressed with the M12 batteries. I thought for sure that they would run out really, really fast and they don't. Um, so <clears throat> usually if I'm 
you know, if I'm spending a day building cleats, um, something where I'm driving a lot of smaller screws in the plywood, this is pretty much my go-to. So there you have it. <clears throat> These are my three impacts. Um, let me know if you have any questions about any of them. If I didn't talk about something um, that you would like me to have talked about, uh, or if there's something specific you want to know, um, let me know, and I will you know, leave a comment below, and I will take a look at it, um, try to get you an answer. <clears throat> the, all right. Um, so if you've enjoyed this, if you've watched any of our other content and enjoyed it, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. That would be awesome. It helps. Every one of you helps. I love having you along for this crazy journey. Uh, also, in this kind of weird topsy-turvy COVID-19 times, I've set up a, a Patreon tip jar. So again, if you've liked this, go down and check out the link and consider just dropping me a buck or two. It keeps the coffee flowing, which keeps me alive. Seriously. <clears throat> uh, uh, I would really appreciate that. And thank you. Until next time.